Well, the weather did not improve yesterday. <laughs> it got worse. Um, I did have a vintage sail overnight and this morning is better. It's calmer. We have some blue sky and some sunshine. And it's not windy and it's not raining. So I've been out this morning and I have um, sent that vintage order. So that's kept me busy this morning. Um, I had a phone call from the medical unit uh, yesterday lunchtime, late lunchtime, saying they'd had the results of my second blood test back and my levels are still elevated but not as elevated as they were. So again she went through, have you been ill, anything wrong, la di da, and she explained that because of the type of um, medical trial this is they need to be absolutely sure that there's nothing wrong. So she said she was going to have a word with her colleague and they were going to decide whether or not they were going to let my application go ahead, which is fine. Um, but I did remind her that I had the same thing last year. I had elevated levels, but nothing came from it. So she said, well, OK, I'll, I'll pull up your test results from last year and we'll have a look at that and then we'll give you a call and get back to you. I haven't heard yet. It's not even 10 o'clock this morning yet so I would imagine I'll get a call sometime over the day to tell me what they want to do. I suspect they are going to withdraw my application because they need to be absolutely sure and because of the type of tests they're doing they don't want to cause any problems for me, they don't want to um, compromise the study. You have to be the right kinds of people with the right kind of test results to be sure that everything's going to be okay. So I'm going to wait and see what happens with that. In the meantime, on the basis that I think they're going to cancel my application, I've started rearranging my car camping trip to Keswick and if I get cancelled and provided the weather is okay, I'm going to go next week because I've got everything in place. I've just been waiting for a time to go. So I'm going to keep my plans going for that so that if this gets cancelled, I've got something else to focus on that's exciting. It's not going to pay me any money, but it's exciting. And of course, even if I don't get this trial, it doesn't mean I won't get the next one. I got turned down for two trials before I got the one I did last August. And that's just because you need to fit a very tight criteria when they are testing with healthy people, or probably with anybody, but with healthy people, you must fit the parameters um, because everybody has to be the same, otherwise you don't get a good baseline. So I'm presuming that they're probably going to be a little bit like, mm, we're not sure, but that's fine. Um, it's interesting that I still have these elevated levels, so I am going to ask them if this is something I need to maybe get investigated, have a look at. I still think it might have something to do with my COVID response last uh, in 2020. But I don't know. This is just me making things up as I go along. I don't know. Um, so we will see. I'll update when I have the results of that. Um, yeah, just got to wait and see. Now I'm just going to get on with my day. Tuesday evening, another clean done, another trip to Morrison's. I got back and it's a bit later than usual so I'm already in my gym jams, because why not? So I wasn't going to go into Morrison's this evening. Didn't really need anything but if I get over the road and I can see that there's somebody still working in the office when I'm going to do the clean, I'll go into Morrison's, kill 20 minutes or so and hope that they've gone by the time I get back. And I was running late today. So I was going into Morrison's about half six and I went down there and you could see there was still somebody working in the office and I thought it's awkward because they're working in the office and you're trying to clean and you're clattering around and it's all a bit awkward. So um, so I went to Morrison's first and with no expectation to be honest with you but there are a few things in there actually. Um, not too bad. So this isn't something I would normally buy, but about this time they put like sandwiches and stuff out. So this was 150 down to 23p cheese and onion sandwich. Now the only reason I've got this is because 
because I do the Wednesday clean and I don't get back here until about half past two, um, it's too late to make dinner because I have tea between four and five. So something like that would be a quick, easy, it's better than me grabbing a packet of crisps out of the cupboard. Um, I'm afraid I did buy more bagels. These were even cheaper the last time. 48p, another one for the freezer. Uh, that was, hold on, that's 48p and that was 189 there were also some tea cakes, I haven't seen tea cakes in a long time. These were 135 down to 34p, and they're Warburton's ones. And again, they go in the freezer, and every so often I'll be like, oh, I'll have one of those. Massive pack of deli meat. This is pork and apple stuffing. These slices, I mean, this was £2.88 down to 72p. I'll probably get three or four days out of that. And I just uh, cut it up into small strips, small pieces, and throw it into a stir fry or a pasta dish. Perfectly good lunch. Uh, more coleslaw. 145 down to 37p. Love the coleslaw. And the other thing I did get, the only actual vegetable thing I got, was um, ready chopped mushrooms. I never buy ready chopped vegetables, but every so often you'll get something really cheap on the counter. So this was two pounds down to 50p. And that's a good sized amount of mushrooms. It doesn't have a weight on there. Oh, hang on. Uh, 500 grams. So that's more than a standard box, which I think is something like is it 280 or 340? That's 500 grams for 50p. So that's like a pallet and a half of mushrooms. I can go through those easily. You have to use them quicker, of course, because they're ready sliced, but we can do that. And that's the lot. Um, no idea how much that cost, but it will go up there. Hang on, where is the receipt? That cost me £2.64 for that lot. I don't know what the saving is, I'll put it up the side where I normally do. And that's the end of Tuesday. N no call from the medical unit yet, I'm surprised. I thought I would get a call today. It has to come tomorrow because Thursday I'm supposed to be going in for this next screening test. Um, so they'll have to let me know tomorrow. <sighs> Playing the waiting game. I don't know, the fact that they're taking this long makes me think that mm, this isn't going to happen but we will see what happens. They'll probably call when I'm driving to tomorrow morning's clean or whilst I'm cleaning and the signal there is really shocking. So maybe a while before I find out. Carry on, speak to you soon. So finally, I've had an update from the medical unit where I am hoping to do this medical trial. So I should have been going in tomorrow uh, today being Wednesday, to have this second uh, set of screenings done, but it's more invasive than the first one. Um, and they looked back through my test results and I thought they were going to knock me off the list because my levels, my um, white blood cell count levels are a bit high for no particular reason, it would seem. Um, and they've now decided to go ahead. So they were like, OK, so coming tomorrow was planned. Um, tell me, you know, when not to eat, what I can do, what I can't do, what time to be in. Um, and you've got someone with you to look after you for 24 hours. No. <laughs> That's the one thing no one mentioned to me. I should have guessed because this, um, this screening requires sedation. And I, I knew that they would be booking a cab to, to take me there and bring me back because you're not allowed to drive. But I hadn't thought about the 24 hour thing. So they went away and came back to me after a little conflab and what they're now doing is I'm going to come in the week after so Thursday the week after and it'll be at the same time it'll be the same process but I have to stay in overnight now the only reason I'm not doing that tomorrow is because this week they haven't had any overnight staff because they're not doing um, any medical uh, uh, studies at the moment so there's no overnight staff in so they only work nights when there are people staying in and you can't have just people coming in for one person who forgot to tell them they lived alone. So, I am now going in next Thursday as planned, but I can now drive because I'm going to go in, have it done, and then I will stay in overnight. Um, 
and then go home the next morning. It's just so they can keep an eye on you just in case and if you have any reaction to the sedation or anything like that. But it should be okay. Um, yeah, that should be fine. And then that means that provided I pass that, my um, my actual study will be now in early May. But we've just shifted the dates around. And again, this is the great thing about being self-employed and not having to work your way around other people is that, or slightly work around but not catastrophically, is that you can do these things. You know, if I get to do this study, that's three and a half thousand pounds in the bank for doing eight days plus a few visits. You get paid for all your time. And I'm happy to do that. So that's where I am at the moment. So now not going in tomorrow, which means I can drink as much caffeine as I like now and I can eat and I don't have to worry for another week. And I just need to jiggle all my dates around in the calendar. Uh, but that should all be, that should all be fine. So fingers crossed, I haven't been screened out yet. If I get this study, then although I will keep applying for studies later in the year, as and when they come up, theoretically I don't need to do it another one again this year to have made enough money to pay all my bills, lets me put money into my savings and my pensions, and still leaves a bit over into the um, easy access just in case anything happens or whatever. But of course it does now mean that Keswick has now been moved on again um, uh, another month. <laughs> but this one pays, Keswick doesn't. Keswick can wait, you know, next month the weather will, should be even better. But of course it's not so much fun for you guys because you don't get to see me doing car camping. But um, it will happen, don't worry, it will happen. Uh, provided I get this this medical trial, it will now happen probably towards the end of May. And uh, that's my update. <laughs> Complicated, but it's fine. I had a feeling something like this might happen. And from what I've noticed from doing the trial that I did last year is you need to be relatively flexible if you can. I'm lucky that I can do that. I'm not tied to a nine to five job. I don't have to get permission from anyone to do it. With the cleaning work, I'll just say to them, I've already, I'd already warned them that there is probably a chance, well, it would have been in a couple of weeks time that I was gonna be away for a week. Um, and it just means that I'm shifting it on an extra week, that's all. So they'll manage. If I'm not there, they don't have to pay me. Nobody's lost out. So <sighs> we're not out of the woods yet. We are still in the running to make a pile of cash. Eight thirty Thursday morning. As you can see, blue sky, no wind, it is glorious this morning. I have to go to the post office to put money in, so I've decided to come out early and grab the beautiful weather while it's here. It's very cold, I think it's about four degrees. We just about hit freezing last night because we had a clear sky no cloud cover to keep us warm but it is beautiful so I'm going to the post office but I'm taking the long route so I can have a walk because I need to be going out and doing this every day really the rain often stops me the rest of the time I can't be bothered and it is going to rain later so I'm making the most of this while I can I've come out a bit early though because all the kids are going to school so it's a bit it's a bit busy out here but um, hey ho. It's very nice out here.
I ended up being out for an hour. It was rather lovely. I don't think it's going to last. The uh, It was already looks like it's turning a bit overcast. Um, so after the post office, I had a little window shop in Littles, which was disappointing and reminded me why I don't go to Littles. And then I went to Poundlag because Shopium are doing a discount. Uh, these for 50p. That's a three pack. So there's six six little slice things in there. They're all right, um, but for 50p, can't complain. Um, so I'm going to put my receipt through now and get my uh, get my money back on that. So that's pretty cool. So that's um, that's Thursday morning. It's a week since I did my seed planting, so I'm going to show you how things are going because it's actually doing quite well. So this area is now the plant nursery. It's like the end of the corridor, but it has a window. And there's a bunch of seeds growing here, or hopefully germinating here. But look, on the right is pak choy. On the left is beetroot. I'd never have much success growing either of these, but they do make nice leaves for my stir fries. Uh, nothing else has sprouted yet, except for giving the peas a second go. So I planted a bunch of those. I don't know why I bother with peas. They, uh, you have to plant a lot to get a meal out of them. But anyway, they're giving them a go. I've got uh, peppers, runner beans, broccoli, broad beans. Uh, I've forgotten what some of these are. I think that on the right is basil and on the left there is sweet peas for me. I can't tell if that is something sprouting or just something in the earth. Anyway, so things are happening. Fun times. This fighter trap also hasn't flowered yet. But it's uh, looking mighty fine. Lots of traps. Waiting for those flowers to come out and die off so that I can repot this. Uh, I'm going to order some peat. Like just a small amount of peat so I can repot it. Also my cherry tomatoes are doing rather well. I'm going to have a load of plants there. Hopefully we'll do better this year. I don't have much success with these but um, once they're big enough I have a, a good sized receptacle to plant them in. So hopefully we will have a better year. My terranium is still doing very well. I love this thing. It's hard to see from here, but, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. The other day the zip arrived for that grey hoodie that I am going to be resurrecting. Um, but it turns out that, um, I don't know how I ordered a zip that's too short, so I've put that one into my Etsy store and I've ordered the right one, so hopefully that'll turn up next week. So I can, and I was going to do a video about it, and I'd started recording the video because I recorded how I take the old zip out and all that sort of thing, and I can't find the footage. I don't know whether I didn't actually hit record or whether I accidentally deleted it. I've looked in the recycle bin, it's not there. I don't know where it's gone. Um, I may have accidentally deleted it. So I am still going to do a video about how I do it, but um, it's going to be minus the footage of me actually taking the thing apart because it's gone and the zip's already out. I can't put it back in and do it again. So I'm going to wait for the new zip to turn up and then I will do a bit of a talk through based on what I w thought I had recorded and just talk about that and then do the how I put the new zip in. It's not going to be as interesting a video because half the footage is now missing. Really irritating. I've only done this a couple of times before. I do sometimes find it really easy to think I've hit record and I haven't. And find that I'm just talking to myself sometimes. Um, and sometimes you can just re-record it, but not when it's like... Sometimes it happens when I'm cooking something or like when I'm doing a repair job and you can't go back and undo what you've just done. Anyway, so when that turns up, I will I, I will do that as a separate video, I think, depending on how much there is there. Uh, but for now, I think that is going to be 
everything for this update. It's been a really quiet week, apart from all the um, medical trial updates, um, which is why I did that last bit about all the plants and things, because that's really the only other exciting thing that's happened this week, is, look, things are sprouting, which is exciting. So, that's the end of that, um, and next update will come when it comes. So, have a good week, have a good weekend, because I'm recording this on Friday, and um, speak to you soon. See you later.